Hey guys, thanks for clicking, thanks for watching. Uh, due to some technical difficulty, I lost the beginning of this video. But uh, this is the real layout of what's happening. We have some polar trivia. Well, each one of our cards has an icon on it. You can see. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, each uh, card has two questions. And you gotta get both questions right to earn the card. And first one to get all the icons wins. This video is a little long. I'll give you a warning. But uh, we had a good time filming this. Me and my good buddy Jay. And uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And please subscribe. And we'll see ya. Let me see ya. Lou Diamond Phillips has his character trying to bring Pentagram Killer to justice. Hmm. I don't know. Because I, I was thinking, because I know he's in a movie with, about bats, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lou Diamond Phillips. Yeah. I'm familiar with him. Yeah, he played Richie Valen in uh, La Bamba. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm uh, not familiar with this one. Read that again. Hmm. In what 1990 film featuring Lou Diamond Phillips has his character trying to bring the pentagram killer to justice? Yeah, this one's... I'm lost on this one. I don't know, something like Deadly Sins or something like that. The First Power. Ah, yeah. Never heard of that one. Yeah, no, the cover of that movie. I remember the cover of that. It's him, and then there's a pentagram above his head. All right. Mm. What actress plays the main character, Susie Fanine, in the 2018 Sabrina? Susprina? I've heard the movie before, I still don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, Susprina? Yeah, the Susprina remake. Yeah, who's that? What's it asking? Who played, who, who played Susie by... by yeah. Nomin? Yeah, I'm terrible with last names. Banyan? 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 Yeah, I'm, I'm terrible with names. After that, oh jeez, I... in 2018, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I, I never even heard of her, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Lori Strode. I, nah. I know it's not even. Dakota Johnson. Oh. Never I guess that would make sense for her, 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 I don't know, 2018. Yeah, no. Never heard of that movie. That's you know, so it's great. a remake. So. I've heard of the original one, but I never. That's what it was called? Suspiria, or how do you pronounce it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, machines come to life and become homicidal after a comet causes a radiation storm in this 1986 film starring Emilio Estevez. I, I, of course I know this one because I'm asking you. <laughs> uh, the Mind of Toys? <laughs> I don't know that one. No, it's, um... It's <laughs> Maximum Overdrive, man. Yeah. Is it? Ah, uh, all right. Good movie if you, if you, uh, you never saw it. Open that one now. Oh, yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. yeah uh, I know, I know the name, but I never knew that was. Yeah, no, about. yeah, it's a good movie. Uh, Stephen, uh, Stephen King, I think he wrote it. Ah, uh, yeah, Stephen King. All right. Yeah, he even makes an appearance in the beginning That's when good. when the machines start taking over. <laughs> nice. And he goes, hey, he's looking at an ATM like this, and he calls him an asshole, and he goes, hey, whatever his wife's name is, this machine just called me an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, what genetically created a mutant breed of insects tries to destroy mankind in the 1997 film Mimic? Oh, giant cockroaches. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. a season movie. Yeah, I, I, I did both right, so. Alright. Oh boy, I'm in a book to this guy's name. <laughs> what was the name of. Hunter for the Lewis debut film. Debut film. Hurt, Herschel? Yeah, Herschel Gordon Lewis is the. Oh, God. I, everybody probably knows that I. Uh, I've never heard of this movie. <laughs> yeah, I've. Wow. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. 
dead by night. I don't know. I'll just living Venus. Mm. Well, dead living. <laughs> right. Yeah, I never heard of that either. Right. In 2001, the 2001 remake that stars Matthew Willard prompts film credits Robert M. Ever to claim this movie was literally too painful to watch. In 2001 with, with Matthew Willard. Yep. Yeah, no, this one. Matthew Willard? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. I know you know this one. You talked about this one. Because that was right around the screen time, so I can't... Uh, it wasn't stream. I know, but... Whatever. Like, oh, it's got a Texas, Texas Chainsaw. Mm -hmm. There's uh, no, no pet zoo down there. The Next Generation? Nope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, pet zoo? Come on. Think about it. Did I say there was a pet zoo down there? No. <laughs> You're not down there? Uh, what else can I tell you? What? Uh, the guy from Mump. What was his name? Tony Silva? Tony Shalou. Him, whore. Come on, you know, you know this one. I know you know this <laughs> one. Uh, yeah, I gotta give it up on it. Thirteen ghosts. Oh, Did I say there's a pet zoo down there? I no, there are ghosts in the basement. <laughs> I don't remember. No, <laughs> I love that part. Thirteen ghosts. That's a good movie. I didn't know that was a remake either. Yeah, did I? But there you go. <laughs> Which actress plays a psychotherapist who enters the mind of a comatose serial killer? In the 2000 uh, film, The Cell. Ooh. See, I hate the actresses. Uh, Jessica Biel? I don't know. I never saw The Cell. Yeah, you. Uh, no, and. Jodie Foster, I don't know. Oh, Jen Jennifer Lopez. Oh, alright. Alright. Yeah. And, uh, what is the name of the sequel to Ridley Scott's Alien? <laughs> uh. Alien 2? I don't know. I'm, no, I used to, it's, uh, it's, I'm really not familiar with yeah, Alien movies. Yeah, it's just aliens. They just added oh. nest to it. <laughs> yeah, Alien movies never, never did nothing for me, so... Yeah, they are. Alright. Yeah. What hangs above Kino's bed in a Nightmare on Elm Street? A cross. Crucifix, yeah, I'll take that. Crucifix, In 2006 film, Silent Hill, what sound signals the transformation of the town into Nightmare Dimension. It's a siren. A horn? Siren? Horn? I think I an air raid siren. Right, yeah, I'll take that. Alright, you have to catch it up. I actually, saw, I actually remember watching that movie. It was, uh, I saw a little bit. I didn't see it until it was years later. Yeah, but, yeah uh, I saw a little bit of a TV version. It wasn't. It looked alright. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. Yeah. I... Supposedly they based it on that town around here, about an hour away near really? Pittsburgh. Hmm. Centralia. Alright. All that stuff didn't happen there. They just... Uh, yeah. Uh, the, yeah, town, yeah, yeah. the town caught fire. Alright. Alright, you're up. Hey, uh... What type of animal terrorizes Jennifer Connelly and Dario Argento's phenomena? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh... Who's in it again? Uh, what type of animal terrorizes Jennifer Conley and Dario Argento's phenomena? Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, a bear. Yeah, that's not uh, a bear. It's a good guess. A bear's man. not bad. Yeah. A chimpanzee with a straight razor. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay. All right. I never would have thought that in a million years. All right. In the <laughs> 1979 film Tourist Trap, a group of friends are trapped in what establishment? Oh, wow. Uh, oh. Tap, uh... Isn't it... Oh, God. Something with... Something with boat. What was it? Yeah, I'm not sure. Why not throw the boat? Uh... I never suppose it. Robots, maidens, something like that. Uh, amusement park. That's good. Good That's guess. I'll say a Burger King. <laughs> oh, a museum. Alright, alright, alright. 
Okay, yeah, I think yeah, I think I remember that movie now. I, I think it was some of it, you know, yeah. like the Salem Museum. <clears throat> All right, what room number? Also, the title of the movie in this paranormal hotspot in this 2007 film starring John Puskat. Cusack. Cusack. Yeah. 1408. That's mm. right. What was the name of Buffalo Bill's dog <laughs> in Silence of the Lamb? Jeez, I didn't know they ever said it. Uh, Missy or something like that? Mm, Missy? No. Mm. I'll give you one too, Mark. Flower or something. Uh, come on, you can get it. <laughs> uh, I don't know, honestly, I never knew they, that they yeah. said the name. And, uh, It isn't Muffin. <laughs> I was actually thinking that because it's the same kind of dog. It I is, think. yeah. <laughs> uh, Pretty funny if that one pops up da later on. Daisy? Uh, mm, I give up. Mm. Precious. Uh, Alright. I honestly don't ever remember him saying the name in that movie, but... Mm. Yeah, no, but it's, it's been a while, they but... Must, so. Yeah, they must have. You know, Vincent Price starred in this 1959 ghostly classic and invited five people to... House on Hound Hill. <laughs> Didn't you have to read the whole thing? With Actually, you? it's about that. Not that long ago. That's the movie. Uh, what big cat does Malcolm McDowell's character turn into after mating with a human woman in the 1982 film Cat People? Hmm. <laughs> uh, what does it turn into? Yeah, what what yeah, what big cat does Malcolm McDowell's big character cat. turn into after making with a human woman in the Yes uh cheetah? I Ah that's Oh Black Panther. Oh, alright. Huh. Hmm. Alright. I think I heard of that movie, but Yeah, no. Alright. God, I'm not doing very well. <laughs> I, I thought I'd do a lot better. Oh, and between the bowl, I don't have any I thought this video would have been done, done in about five minutes. Yeah. So. Alright. Tate Brosworth and Thomas Jane star in this 2016 supernatural film in which their son, son's nightmare becomes reality. Oh, jeez, man. See, are not the greatest with the with newer stuff. That's yeah, like What they that. consider newer horror. Yeah, 2016, yeah. Uh their son's Thomas Jane and Tate yeah. Closeworth their son's nightmare becomes reality uh, I never heard of this one uh, not yeah I don't know mind of a child I don't know before I awake alright I heard it I never saw it yeah no what items in this tiller is famous for wearing in the 1976 film, Alice with Alice. Oh, Al what is she? I, no, because I know that movie. What, read that again. What? what uh, what's he wearing? What's he famous for wearing? Oh, like a see-through mask, like a clear mask with a rain. She wear a raincoat. What color? Yellow. Correct. Which they never explain if she's actually the killer at the end, because there's an old. Yeah. I don't want to say too. In case anybody wants to see the movie. I mean. But, Sixty, nineteen seventy-six. Yeah. That's a it. good. That's a good. That movie was also called Communion. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. If you haven't seen it by now, spoilers. Yeah. Warning. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good movie. Yeah. It's it, a little. It's a little freaky. The girl. The lady. The girl in it. Uh, her name is Paula B. Shepard. Hmm. Uh, she's playing like a thirteen-year-old or something like that. But in real life, I think she was like nineteen or twenty. But she definitely looks like a child. Oh, nice. But, um. But yeah, Civil Shepherd's in that. I think it's Civil Shepherd. Huh? Is that who it was? Civil Shepherd? Nah, it was somebody famous. Plays her. I think it was Civil Shepherd. Plays her. Plays her younger uh, sister. Uh, I think it was, it was like probably one of her first. I think it was Civil Shepherd. Uh, hmm. But now, nah, good movie. If you never saw yeah. it, never saw it. Yeah, I've seen highlights, but I never seen um, it from start to finish. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's uh, it's a little creepy because it's you know, you know but uh, yeah, that's fine. Not what suits me out, but that yeah. that mask in the throat. That's yeah, that's, that's <laughs> a little that's a little uneasy even for me. Like, <laughs> yeah, the mask is a little uh, <laughs> a little, and she's a, she's pretty twisted. But mm. like I said they never actually really <coughs> explain 
what the heck really happened because <clears throat> there's an old woman at the end and right. everything. Uh, like I said, oh yeah, know. even that old woman, the, the makeup effect on her is like, whoa, <laughs> yeah, freaking troll from hell. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a good movie. Yeah, All right, you know, sweet house. Um. Right, this 2000 film is about two sisters named Ginger and Bridget who struggle with the idea of one of them is a werewolf. It's actually seen in the first one, there's two of them. Um, uh, the girl who plays Kip in Freddy vs. Jason is one of the stars all right. of it. Uh, I Her real name is, is it, uh, Catherine Isabella. I don't know the the Helen Gingers. I know. <laughs> it, it should be Ginger Snaps, but oh no, is it really? Ginger Snaps. I've actually heard of that movie yeah, too. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's it. Which film in the Alien series is set in Antarctica? I know you said you don't, but I can't even think of which one. Uh, three. Yeah. Oh, Alien vs Predator. That's that one. Hmm. Uh, is it really? I saw that movie. I don't remember. So did I. I remember being in Antarctica. Alright. What actress plays the heroine, uh, Helen Lang in the 1992 Candyman? Oh, oh geez. I yeah, what's her name? <sighs> I would. I want to say Lauren something, but. Uh, mm, nah, not even close. I pass. Yeah. I'm Virginia Madison. Hmm. All right. I'll never forget that from now on. Yeah, right. What 19 <clears throat> 1971 film features a group of killer rats are led by a man seeking revenge on those who've gone wrong? Willard. Willard, that's right. Starring George McFly. Yeah. <laughs> I actually didn't mind that movie, to be honest. Yeah, I know. That's a pretty good movie. Yeah. Very underrated. They remade that, too, I think, in, in the... Did they? Yeah, I think in a later, like, like, not too long ago. No, actually. now you say that, yeah. And uh, I, I didn't mind the remake. Uh, they're supposed to make uh, Big Ben, but they never did. Oh, that's because they, the, well, that's what they call the one right now. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the main one, was the leader, yeah, is Big Ben. Yeah, yeah. He's supposed to be his own uh, spin-off movie, but they never... Mm. Yeah. yeah, did you ever see that Night Shift movie, The Night Shift? No, but I've heard of it. Well, that has to do with rats, too. And there's, nice. a, there's a giant rat, I guess you could call him that if you wanted to. That's it's like a, a rat bat somehow. That's the splinter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. What director of The Omen went on to direct the 78 film Superman? Oh, jeez. The hell, uh... The Omen. And then another film I'm not that familiar with. Uh, the film, the film. The Omen, The Omen. Uh... And the Superman, the first Superman movie. Uh, hmm. What the heck's his name? Man. I'm not familiar with The Omen and Superman. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, Travis Midfort Pants, I don't know. <laughs> I think it was, like, really Scott or something like that. Oh, Richard Donner, really? Uh, yeah. Really? He did this, he did The Omen. Hmm. He did the Goonies too. Uh, oh, nice! Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll never got that one. Yeah, but if they put the Goonies in there, they got that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Here you go. This is uh, set in the year twenty four fifty five. Where does the film Jason X take place? Well, that's kind of a vague question. Yeah, that's. But the uh, Drendel. I'll give that to you because it says a spaceship slash right, outer, yeah. outer space. Yeah. But yeah, the Grendel. And, and as we have the man Watson over Grind us. Grendel one. <laughs> Probably very much frowning on us. <laughs> man, I thought you guys said you knew the horror movie. Yeah, this, these are some of these are obscure yeah. at all, man. As long as the come on, a chimpanzee with a straight razor, right? The actress in the 1958 movie. Yeah, like. Yeah, well, not that old. <laughs> all right, this one. What feature is the focus of the 2018 movie Med? No shark. It was a shark yeah. movie. Oh, there you go. Megalodon. Oh, Megalodon. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Look at that, too. Uh, a horror novelty list returns to his boyhood home and finds that he has been invaded by ghosts and ghouls in the 1985 movie 
Well, I guess I don't and know. I believe it's a house. That is. That's is house. That house. Yeah. Okay. House. House two is uh, the second story. Is uh, a yeah. little wacky. Yeah. What was it? The grandpa. No, I don't oh, even. The first one. I don't even remember. I have. Uh, I've only seen both of them uh, once, and I, I didn't mind them. And the second one I thought was a yeah. little little out there. That was uh, uh, But I like the first one. Yeah. Alright. Kane Hodder does, uh... I, I was about to say Kane Hodder does, does a tool, yeah. Yeah, he does yeah. some stunt stuff in that movie. Alright, let's see where we're at now. We both have two crossbows. I have a crucifix and an axe. I have an axe and a chainsaw. Alright. <laughs> Hope you guys are liking this one. Yeah, it's, it's a little like, long, it's but... It's a little longer <laughs> video, but... Why not? Yeah. Alright, what 1982 film directed by Wes Craven centers around a scientist who was transformed into a plant-based monstrous creature? Oh, boy, uh... There was comic books and everything for it. Is it the Little Sop of Horrors? Mm. Feed me, see more, feed me? Mm. I'm looking at something else. Give you one more shot. This guy is a scientist. Uh, and he gets transformed into his surrounding area, basically. Hmm. Scientist transformed into a plant? Yeah, like a plant based. Plant based. Uh, oh, I'm, uh. That's all I got. Yeah. Little Sop of Horrors, but I know that's not it. It should be Swamp Thing. Yep. Is it really? Yeah, Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. Huh. Weird. That kind of an obscure movie. Yeah. Like, All right. Like, there was comic books, I think. I think there was. I, yeah. Now you say there that. There might yeah. even be a part two of that. I think. Maybe huh. I mean, I don't know. All right. But it's been a long time since I seen that. But yeah. Uh, it was. He's actually. A, see, that's not considered that horror at all. Because he's like. He's yeah. actually like the good guy in that movie. <laughs> so, yeah, nice. uh, All right. Yeah. Well. Mm. All right. What is the movie poster tagline for the '85 movie House? I, I couldn't tell you. Oh. But, uh, I don't know. Was it hitting the button? Oh, it's not like me. the door? Rin? Rin? Din dong? Yeah, it's probably just something like that. I can't think of it. I'm going to say din dong. <laughs> I know it's uh, a thing you're hitting the door, though. Yeah, ding dong, you're dead. I'll give that one to you. Really? Uh, I'll give that to you. I don't know. Uh, ding dong, you're dead. <laughs> that was a total shot in the dark. Yeah. I had no. Good thing you're remembering that, though. Man. Yeah. All right. Down. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. In the movie. It better be Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the Eli Roth movie, The Green Inferno, who abducts a group of student activists after their plane crashes in the Peruvian jungle? I got it. In the jungle. Oh, the Green Inferno. Oh, cannibals. That's correct. Yeah, I actually saw that movie. And, All right. Uh, it's a pretty freaky scene where they I, got yeah, I've they heard, got them. I've uh, heard a lot about that movie. They got them all like in this cage, and then yeah. they grab the one dude, and then they, like the main one comes out yeah. and, and uh, eats his eyeballs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I actually heard a funny story about that movie. That the director actually had the. Uh, the report and testify that the movie was actually a movie and he didn't... Oh, he didn't just film people doing yeah. it? <laughs> That's yeah. That's funny. Yeah, the movie was that convincing that yeah. they actually had people that freaked out. That's crazy. Yeah, that movie was a little disturbing. I don't think I made it through the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I heard that's one of the... Yeah. If you made it through that whole movie, you're, you're fucked. Yeah, like, I don't <laughs> think I made it through that whole... I think some, somewhere after the eyeball part, which is pretty close yeah. to the beginning... Uh, yeah, it's I was like, yeah, because I'm not big on torture stuff and no, things like that. No, no. You know what I mean? But yeah, they actually told him they were twisting him. Yeah, that's crazy, though. Like, to, he killed his staff. Yeah, that's, made the movie. I didn't know that, but that's pretty nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. All right. Um, what 2018 film features a family who lives in silence while hiding from creatures who hunt by sound? Ooh, uh, A Quiet Place. Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. Mm. Uh, 
And uh, in what horror movie did the villain attack high school students through their dreams? <laughs> Nightman, I'm just going to give you that one. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was a cross for you. Huh? Yeah. All right. All right. What do I have here? Three, four. Oh, you got oh, You need a chainsaw. No, you got a chainsaw. I need a machete. All right. All right. We're getting. And I need a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What legendary funny man duo encounters all ten uh, classic monsters in the Meet the Monster movies? Oh, it has to be uh, no, Abbott and Costello. Yep, that's right. What was Candyman's weapon of choice? The hook. All right, you're catching up. You got the machete I just yeah. needed. Uh, I was getting intense. All right, what horror television Besides, right? Four yeah. to four? Yeah, four to four. All right. All right. Uh, what horror television series was created by Ryan Murphy, who also created the TV series Glee? Uh, TV series? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. That's what they consider horror, though, too, you know, it's hard to I say. I know, like, uh, no, I know Hannibal had a horror thing for a while, so I'm going to say, mm, what, whatever good. that Hannibal show was called. Good guess, good guess. Oh, American Horror Story, I didn't know he... Uh, oh, damn it, that's what I'm all about, American Horror Story. <laughs> that's just stopped tearing after season three. Yeah, I only tried to watch that uh, Horror Story 84, because yeah. it was supposed to be like, uh, oh, yeah, I did that one like bit. 80s horror yeah. movies. And they complete the beginning of the first episode. They completely rip off Halloween, like uh, the way he escapes from uh, uh, and everything, man. And like even the scene outside, which I guess they probably might have been doing it on purpose, yeah, you yeah. know. Uh, but that's like lame. even the way the guy escapes, uh, the, uh, like when they're outside, they're all running around. People pull up and they're like, "Oh, you let them just run around." Yeah. You know what I mean? It was uh, lame. Uh, and uh, what animal was Betty White's character feeding in Lake Placid? Wait, what, what the animal she was feeding? Yeah, what animal was she feeding? Uh, giant crocodile. Right. It also says alligator, but that's yeah. the same thing. Yeah. I know it's not the same thing, but it's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Alright. You have an answer? Yeah, yeah. What was the name of the possessed doll in the 2013 The Tomsarin? Oh, jeez, it was either the Annabella. That's it, Annabelle, Annabelle yeah. yeah. I'll give you that. Or the boy, like yeah. his name. Yeah, Annabelle. He, he had it. Or Annabelle. Yeah, he had it. In the movie Devil, where were the five characters trapped in most of the movie? I'd have to say hell, man. <laughs> An elevator. Oh, I just said that. Never heard that one. Never heard that. You sure it wasn't the hell-evator? Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was just called Devil. <laughs> Never heard of that. Yeah. See, man, I thought a lot of these questions were going to be about, like, you know, like 80s movies, you know, <laughs> no, like, right. like, like 80s but, horror movies like, and what shit. What did Jason tell me to so and so with? Yeah. How, how tall is Tim Hunter? <laughs> ah! <laughs> a group of scientists band together to save the world from a horde of fruit in what 1988 movie? I know the answer to that. <laughs> I think I do, too. Attack to the Tiller Tomatoes? It has to be it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good. And uh what movie did mispronouncing Klata Barata Niktu result in a dead deadite attack? Mm. Oh it's I don't answer this one another one, uh mm. Army of Darkness. Yep. Yep. Crossbow what you got. Uh, uh, I have three. Alright. Two seconds. Alright. What incense yeah. Insects are closely associated with the urban legend of Candyman. Oh, uh, bees. That's correct. What town, yeah, what country was the 2005 movie Wolf Treat set in? Country? Oh, jeez. Uh, Canada? Mm, no, it's outside. Uh, I'll give you one more. It's outside the U.S. 
Well, Wolf Creek, I mean, I would, you'd think you'd have to do with wolves uh, being a horror movie, but maybe not. Uh, uh Russia. Australia. <laughs> Many wolves in Australia? I don't know. I, uh, I've never seen, <laughs> never seen the movie. Alright. What 2002 movie sequel? Oh, oh is it your time? Yeah, because I, I, oh, yeah, I just answered the, oh, nice the Australian. Oh, nice. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, here's for a machete that you need. And oh, no. <laughs> what 2002 movie sequel directed by Gomero? Yeah. Yeah, Guillermo del Toro will feature Wesley Snipes as a half man, half vampire daywalker. That's it. Yeah, well, what's the name of the movie starring Wesley Snipes as a half man, half man? We'll just put it that way. Oh, the, se oh the sequel, God. though. The sequel, nice. though. And Blade? What? The sequel? Yeah, it says the sequel. Blade 2? It would have to be Blade 2, right? Yeah, Blade 2. Alright. Yeah. Eyes. <laughs> Bob Clark directed both A Christmas Story and this 1974 Christmas slasher movie. I can only think of two. Mm. Uh. Deadly Night Silent Night? For the win? No, that's the other one. Black Christmas. Oh, I'm that, so close. Silent Night, Deadly Night isn't too uh, bad where Eric sees his parents killed yeah. by a guy dressed as Santa. Yeah. A Black Christmas is a guy, he works at a toy store. <laughs> and for some reason, he likes to rate kids in the neighborhood. Like he, keeps a, he thinks he is Santa Claus, basically. Right. And... Honestly, in that movie, I think he kills one person. I think he kills his boss. Really? That's it. And then at the end, he's trying to get away from the cops in his van, and all of a sudden, his van turns magical and it flies away. Man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What horror film was Eli Ross the Dre? Eli Ross. Can I say it right? And then I'm Ross. 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 Uh, Ross. Directorio. Debut. Never knew this one. Eli. Ross. I don't know because he did that Green Inferno movie. I'm looking at it right here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What was, uh, the, what was the first movie he ever did? All right, I've seen I've seen this one. It's, eh, it's decent. No. The other one's fucking hard though. <laughs> Just giving you a heads up. The Invisible Man. No. Nope. Cabin Fever. Uh. What was the name of the half fly, half human monstrosity in the remake of The Fly? Oh, his actual name? I didn't know he even had names. And I... Yeah, what was the name of the creature? Uh, I did. I... <laughs> yeah. Insectus. I don't know. I don't know. Br Brundlefly. No idea. I thought it was just. No idea they gave him names. Yeah, me either. I thought it was just. Yeah, it was Jeff. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum <laughs> losing teeth and losing fingers. <laughs> Alright, here's for a chainsaw. Oh, you already got one. Huh? Uh, what was Leatherface's weapon of choice? Chainsaw? Yeah, <laughs> actually. <laughs> chainsaw, Don't even have to look at it. That's gotta be it. Alright. Uh, what is the cursed object in the 2009 movie Drag Me to Hell? Ooh. I have no idea. I never saw it. Wasn't it a, Heard a, of it. a house? Was it a house? I know, I know it was uh, an old lady that mad to her house dot to be possessed. Oh, is that what happens in the movie? I think of that movie, yeah. Uh, it's not a house. I don't know. Something I would never guess. A button? Really? A button? I, I never saw that movie. Yeah, so I had the fuck again. <laughs> Alright. In the 2012 movie, The ABCs of Death, how many stories were included in the film? I'll just say three because it says ABC. The ABCs of Death? 26? Oh, I guess there'd have to be 26. Uh, I'll give you that to No, no, no. That's... that's All right. No, sure? no. All right. I got it wrong. But it's 27 story? 26, yeah. Or 20, I'm sorry, 26. You ever seen that one? No, I never That's actually a really fucked up movie. No, I never... I guess they're quick, though. Yeah, they are, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, I hope to uh, talk to you on DVD and watch that one of these days. Yeah, no, I know. It's heard. actually really... I, I loved it. Hmm. Alright. In 2018, film Unravel Scripted and Traveling 
secrets about Graham family. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No idea. The 2018 unveils cryptic and terrifying unveils secrets. Unveils cryptic and terrifying secrets the about family. the Graham family ancestry. The Graham, I don't know. I guess it would. It's probably one of those, uh, <laughs> one of those doll movies, right? The boy or something, right? I I know what the movie is. It's a possession movie, but oh, Emily, knew. oh Emily Rose or something like that, right? No. no, no. Haunting in Tennessee. No. <laughs> Hereditary. Never heard of it. Hmm. Yeah, I got the demon position of the little teeth of this was... The whole movie? That sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't think if I saw it. Yeah, and halfway through the movie, she puts her head out the window while driving down the street, and her head uh, is taken off by uh, a lamppost. No, I can't say. Yeah. And yeah, never knew yeah. they had a, had a last name or anything yeah, in that yeah. movie. All right. What was Wes Craven's movie? Wait, I'm sorry. What Wes Craven movie was inspired by the true story of a wild Scottish clan who murdered and cannibalized mur numerous people during the Middle Ages? I have no idea. Uh, hmm. And it's a Wes Craven movie too. Wes Craven Middle Ages. Oh God. A movie with Mel Gibson. What? <laughs> it's got Scottish movie with Mel Gibson. Oh, brave. Brave Oh, God. Wes Craven. Uh, yeah. That's one of the probably only times ever hear me say this. Pass. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't. Really? The Hills Have Eyes? Really? Oh, inspired by uh, a true story. Of, oh, I. Uh, I did say that, right? Yeah, you did. I would have. Oh, because if I if I looked at it, it would make me think. Oh, like, and yeah, Never Knew Hills Have Eyes was inspired by a true story. Mm. Sorry, we'll g we should give it out. No, no, I right. never. All right, well, hey, anyway, which franchise has the most sequels? Puppet Master or Child's Play? Puppet. <laughs> we were just talking about that. <laughs> All right. Twenty-five movies or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's a lot. This uh, 1963 film <laughs> featured killer carnivores. Tongue of her, yeah. Tongue of her, yeah. Tongue of her plants and an unusual meteor shower that blinds most of the population. What the fuck? Yeah. I don't know the botanist. The day of the terrifiers? Yeah, whatever. Never heard of that one. Alright, which franchise has the most sequels? Saw or Children of the Torn? Well, that's a good one. Because, well, I'd have to say Saw because there... I don't know, though, because there's a lot of Children of the Torn. And remember, this is pretty old. Yeah. Well, I guess you're leading me towards Children of the Torn, right? Yeah, it is. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, now there's like ten Saw movies, right? Yeah, and they're making another one, I think, either next year or this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately. How? How do they keep coming? I know. The, I gave up the, after the, the second The guy died, like, how many movies ago? <laughs> All right. All right. Come on, man. This is for a chance, but you already have a chance. <laughs> Who's considered to be Hollywood's first screen queen? Uh, Jimmy Lee Tucker? No. Mm. Oh, oh. oh. You almost got me there. Oh, yeah. Her mother, Janet Lee. No, they, they, they say it says Jamie Lee Curtis, ah. but I thought you were. I, was, right. I was thinking what you were thinking. Yeah, I mean, come on. But I guess Screen Queen. I had Janet right here on my arm. Yeah, I guess Screen Queen didn't really exist back then. Yeah, right? all right. And, I don't know, when was Psycho made? That was 19, what, 80? Oh, Psycho was black and white, so... Yeah. Uh, but but still, color was around, but I think they shot it in black and white. Or I'm going to say... So. I'm not sure. I thought it was... Uh, I, I know. Hmm. We'll come back to that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jason Voorhees brought back to life in Friday 6. Jason News. Oh, the... <laughs> was it the the the, the, the fucking uh, as oh, I'm doing this? That was the that was the the fucking uh, the oh my god I can't say it the fucking the the pole and the lightning. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the lights you're doing this. That was that was great. All right. What original Friday the Thirteenth 
film did Jason do this hockey mask? Part three. That is correct. From Shelley. Uh huh. In 1954 film featuring a prehistoric dill man who kidnaps a scientist named Kay and falls uh, in love with her. That's probably a creature from the Black Lives Matter. It is. Uh oh. This is getting intense now. Hey, um, which Peter Jackson film features Michael J. Fox as a ghost hunter? Really good movie. Oh, I know this one. Uh, I think it's a good movie. It's long, but it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. The Frighteners? Yeah, that's it. That's it? That's it. Uh -huh. All right, yeah. I knew I knew it. All right. Yeah. Oh, it's for, you know, yeah. cross. Yeah, Damn you. <laughs> Damn you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Wes Craven directed what 1991 film about two adults and a juvenile who break into a brother and sister's house and find something disturbing? Another? Again? Oh, I know it is. I know it. the people in this case. That has to be it. Yeah. Yeah. I was, was going to say that. It says it. The people under the stairs. Yeah, yeah. The people say under the stairs, under the steps. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's under the stairs. And this That's a good movie. I like yeah, that movie really a lot. <laughs> fool. Fool. <laughs> Alright. What 2005 movie contains elements of both supernatural and courtroom drama? Oh, jeez. Uh, you, you, you've, yeah. you've already said the name of it. Oh, yeah. You, know, you, you said it a couple couple times, though. <laughs> oh, great. Now that's making me forget, man. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's a supernatural movie, I guess, uh, or a possessive movie, I'd say, I'll do that. Oh, alright, then I, it has to be like... You, you said the name before. <laughs> Honey, I don't, I don't know, because now I said too many of them. I know. <laughs> I don't know, I'll go with a Honey in Connecticut, I don't know. Uh, you sure? No, no but... Huh. The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Oh, I, I you said that. Not I that. say that, Alright, what 2008 French horror movie... Involved the uh, the flaying of a uh, main character in order to allow her to reach state of transcend transcendence. Uh, hmm? Never heard of that movie. Wait, who are you? Who are you? Uh, it doesn't say an actor or a director. Yeah, nothing. yeah. Uh, a 2008 French horror movie. I don't know. Believe, I don't know. Believe that. Something. Margaries? Mar 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 which actor asks, you mean there are snakes out there this big in the movie Anaconda? Ice Cube. I was going to say it has to be him. What kind of powers do the scanners possess in the 81 film Scanners? Mm. Uh, well, not that, but uh, the Reed Mines? Yeah, I think it's that's like, well, telekinetic to give it to me. Right. So. Uh, there's a machete. Oh, yeah, you needed a machete. All right. Is it over? Two, three, f no, five. What the hell do you need still? I got the crossbow. I got the cross. I got the chainsaw. Yet. And I got the smash. See Boom. Oh, it's only five. I was thinking yeah. there were six. Okay. Alright. Alright, well, next one's in the city. You want to do it and tie it up? And if we get a tie, we'll do one more? Alright, yeah, I got two machetes. What do you have in the city? No? Yeah, I got two of them. I don't have an axe, though. All right, we'll do that one. Oh no, I do have an axe. <laughs> what don't you have? Uh, I have a crown. You don't have a chainsaw, do you? No, I don't chainsaw. All right, we'll do a chainsaw then. All right. What is the name of uh, Broken Lizard, 2004 slasher film? Bread. 
which is a good movie. Yeah. Which is <laughs> a good movie if uh, all right. I ever saw. It's kind of like Super Troopers. They're the same guys. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. But uh, it, they, it's a, yeah, it's it's a right horror, horror comedy. Re- re- released after Super Troopers. Yeah, it's, a good, it's actually a pretty good movie. Which J.J. Abraham film had the tentative title 1-1808? It's Western Mark. J.J. Abraham. One eighteen oh eight plus the mark. I don't know, that, that 1408 movie again. <laughs> oh, I didn't see it before, yeah. 1408, I don't know. Mm. Anything? Anything? They made a few of them. Oh, really? Well, and one of them may or may not have had Zelda in it. Wolverfield. Uh, All right. Who was in that? Yeah, John Goodman was in. It? Not that one. In the sequels. Was it? Yeah, the the last one they made. One eighteen oh eight. Huh. Yeah. I don't know if that was. Isn't that the address in the movie or something like that? Maybe. Wasn't that one? Or uh, is that the day that it happens? Was that one of the day when the supposedly end of the world was supposed to happen? Yeah. From what I thought. The fiftieth, sixtieth time by now. Always say they say that all the time. Oh. 2022. That was pretty long, man. I thought we were going to do a lot better. <laughs> no, than that. I. But some of those questions are really obscure. Mm-hmm. Um, Alright, guys. Uh, hopefully, you're still watching this. <laughs> if you like this video, uh, give us a thumbs up. Then drop yeah. us a comment. And see if you want to see a part two. And uh, we'll do it. Not for sure. We're going to be, be better at it than that. <laughs> yeah, Alright, guys. You tell me a French movie, horror movie you've seen. <laughs> All right.